Seven English phrasal verbs with the word "cut" from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, cut across, to go across or through a place, not around it, to make the trip faster. Let's cut across the park on the way home from school. It'll be quicker. Number two, cut back on or cut down on. To reduce, especially spending or eating, we're cutting back on expenses to save up for our next vacation. I need to cut down on fast food to lose some weight by summer. Number three, cut in, to enter a conversation by interrupting. I couldn't have a serious discussion with Barry because William kept cutting in. There's also the expression "cut in line," that means to enter a line ahead of other people who have been waiting longer. Number four, cut it out. Say this to tell someone to stop doing something annoying. For example, if your kids are running around the house screaming and yelling, you can say, "Cut it out." I'm trying to take a nap. Number five, cut off, remove something from something bigger. For example, I cut the tags off my new shirt. Cut off is also used when the telephone disconnects accidentally. For example, we were cut off in the middle of our conversation. Cut off also means to stop the supply of something. Our electricity was cut off after we didn't pay the bill for three months. Cut off can mean to interrupt, often in the middle of a sentence. I tried to explain the problem, but she cut me off and said she didn't want to hear about it. Cut off also means when one car suddenly drives in front of another car. He got angry when another car cut him off on the highway. Cut out, to remove something like a picture from something else, like a magazine. I cut the article out of the newspaper. If you cut someone out, it means you exclude them. Helen cut her ex-boyfriend out of her life. She doesn't even want to see him. Cut out also means when an engine, motor, or machine completely stops. I was terrified when the plane's engine suddenly cut out. Number seven, cut up, to cut with scissors or a knife into small pieces. The teacher cut up the paper into triangles. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.